I'm at Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in Kanab, Utah, and this is where Safari lives. Uh, she lives in a part of the sanctuary called the Clubhouse, and there's actually two octagonal shaped buildings, and off of the octagonal shaped uh, buildings you can see doors all around, and each of the, by each of the doors is there's a run, and there's a number of dogs that may live. Um, in the kennels. They have access inside and outside and during the winter time the floors are heated because it gets pretty cold down here. But anyways I just wanted to give you an idea of where Safari lives. And there's her bunk mate over there. Um, we're just waiting for Safari to come out. We're going on another overnight with her. She's such a sweetheart. Here and I just keep and this is her caretaker Heidi. Hey Safari. Hey darling. How are you? You ready to go with us again tonight? Come on, sweetie. And here's Anna. Anna's waiting for a girl. And this is Heidi. Heidi is is um, Safari's caretaker and you can see she absolutely loves her. You ready? Ready to go? Oh, it's so good that she gets to get out. Just hey, sweetheart. How's my girl? All right. We'll see you guys in the morning. You will. Thank you. She is such a sweetheart. She says, I'm a good girl. She loves to give kisses. She loves to give kisses. Hey, sweetheart. And she gives the best kisses of them all, don't you? <laughs> hey, I get some of that action. Yeah. Look at that wagon this tail. This is Uncle Safari. Oh, Hello. There's our good girl. We're on our way to dinner. We're going to go to Escobar's in Kanab, uh, Utah, for some Mexican food. And just to have some fun with our girl. Hey. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, you go up there and you take a left. And she's curious about something. There she is. There she is. Well, Probably yes. another dog. She's like here. just kind of figuring out who it was. Maybe somebody from Best Friends. Okay, here we go. There she goes. She's, she's just great. See, you can see how she's walking on the leash. She's doing pretty good. Ten month old puppy. She's curious, very appropriately. Yeah. Say, what's that? Oh, that's another bush. That I think that same other dog was leaving a message. <laughs> so good. She's just so calm. And she's just such a sweet girl. She has been, you, I don't know if you can hear in the background, but there's 18 wheelers that come by. We've had motorcycles come by. There's all kinds of tour buses here. And she's just as mellow as she can be. Look at how nicely she's walking. She's smelling some things. Yeah, she's such a good girl. Anna, let me get in front of you. And here she is. See, you can hear the motorcycle. It's annoying me, but it doesn't apparently have any effect on her. Uh-oh. She's sniffing says, mm, the trash. That's the trash. I know, Mama smells. That's the trash. Good girl. She's doing so good. So anyways, I'll check in just a little bit, a little bit later with more footage. And of there's our, girl. our golden girl. This is Safari. Safari lives at the Best Friends Animal Sanctuary in, in Kanab, Utah. Um, Anna and I have been here since Sunday. We've been working at the sanctuary every day. We have met some incredibly wonderful people, not only staff, but also volunteers. And of course, we've met the, the kiddos that live here. Safari is one of them. She's 10 months old. She's a mixed breed. And she is wonderful. We have had her on two overnights. Uh, this is our second morning with her. and We've do been doing a lot of playing this morning. We have absolutely fallen in love with her. And part of the reason for doing this video is to have some wonderful memories of her. But also to post these things on the internet so we can get this girl a good home. She's phenomenal. She's very calm for a 10 month old puppy. She quickly bonds to the people who spend time with her, easily trust. She has really taken to Anna and I and has just been a joy the last two days that we've had her. Sleeps through the night. She's, she is appropriately mischievous. Loves to interact with people. 
um, last night Anna, Anna and I were walking her up Main Street in Kanab and Anna wanted to do some jogging with her and boy she fell into Anna's pace right away. Uh, so she probably needs to go to an active home and she would thrive. She, have, she has um, been in every social in that situation that we could possibly put her in in Kanab, Utah. We have walked her along Main Street where there are 18 wheelers, huge RVs, motorcycles, you name it has gone by because this little town appears to be a crossroads to the national parks. And she has been pretty much non-reactive. Um, she, she's great on a leash, very curious about um, all of the things out there, but just a wonderful curiosity. Um, she um, has met strangers and has had no issues meeting people. Loves to be patted, loves to give kisses, and she does love to sleep in the queen-size bed in room 323 at the Holiday Inn Express in Kanab, Utah. Uh, she's a very clean dog. Um, you know, she she doesn't. She seems to you know just self groom and take care of her herself, and she's just a, an absolute love. Um, so if there's someone out there that um, wants just the best, seems to be a very balanced dog. She would be a wonderful part of a family. So, anyways, think about it. Don't let this this puppy get away. She's great.